Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be fixing my watermelon peperomia. It is unhappy with me. It's got misshapen leaves and it's growing kind of wonky. It's growing crazy. It's got all kinds of new growth coming on, but it's just not happy. And I love the plant and I want to get it back to the way it's supposed to be. So if you're interested in this, stay tuned. We'll do that right now. I'm going to approach uh, the improving of this watermelon peperomi a couple of different ways. One is I am going to take some leaf cuttings because I want to make some more so I can test my lighting in different areas of the house. So we'll do that. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to repot this to give it new soil uh, with some soil release fertilizer, hopefully to help the misshapen leaves. Um, and I'm going to put it in a self watering pot. Uh, that will also control uh, the way I've been watering. So hopefully with all three of these methods, it refreshes this plant back to its natural state of beauty like when I got it, hopefully. Um, it's growing, it's just, it's just not looking the best. And I've seen there's lots of people online that have had the same issues with these split leaves. And I've done a lot of research and I've talked to a lot of greenhouses and they're, they don't know what would be causing it, but some of my other research tells me it's malnutrition. So, so we're going to do that right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some cuttings and I'm going to bring the camera in so we can do that at a close up. What I'm going to be using for the propagation is just plain potting mix with some extra perlite. So it's got drainage. I pre-moistened this. It's about 50% hydrated. I don't want it, you know, I don't want it overly saturated. So I'll just put a bed here. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, some soil to the self watering container. I've been switching some of my more tricky houseplants to these self watering containers and I absolutely love them. I'll link it below in, in case you're interested. There's all kinds of varieties. So this is a reservoir and then this is a six inch pot. Uh, for the grow pot and I'm going to add some I'm going to add some soil in here for right now and then I'll I'll zoom in to do the rest of this we'll take the cut-ins and then we'll repot it I'll be right back all right I've got us zoomed in here so we can see what's going on together I'm going to cut some of these big misshapen leaves out of the way and then I'm going to look for some leaves that are halfway decent like this is a nice medium sized one and this one I'm going to cut back to the base and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cutting what I'm going to do is take a cutting across here and that's where these pro these will propagate from I'm going to just use the scissors and cut across here like that I'm simply going to push it into the, the potting medium I'm going to take a bunch of cuttings and, and continue with this method. This plant is so unhappy, most of my leaves are misshapen. So I'm hoping, hoping that this is going to, to work. You can see where the petiole is below. I think it takes probably a good um, one to two months for these cuttings to, to root. Try to get it in there really good. The one thing nice about the peperomia is the, this watermelon variety is these leaves or peperomias in general, the leaves are, are kind of like succulent. They really have some body to them. So it definitely reminds me of, of how I would treat a succulent. So having a well draining mix is going to be important. You don't want them to rot. I think that's enough cuttings. I don't really want more than that. I'll put the lid on it. I'll probably give it a good spray of water too. I'm going to go put it in a sunny, semi sunny location. My next task is going to be taking this out of its pot. This is the original container it came in. It's packaged in cocoa core. I just don't think there's enough nutrition in it and I didn't do any additional
fertilizing. I don't o like to over fertilize my plants. So uh, it doesn't surprise me that if it needed extra fertilization, that's probably the root cause. I know a lot of people have this problem. So I'm hoping to um, have this be a good solution for a lot of people that are out there. I'm tearing this down, looking for the root system. What I want to do is take a look and make sure that this, I want to take a look and make sure that this six inch pot is going to be enough. So I had put some potting medium down below. So that seems to be pretty good. Um, I'm probably going to take off, I'm going to hold these up a little bit. Might come in and clean some of these fronds off or the leaves off that just don't look as good. So I'm just going to pack this in there for right now. I'm going to want to leave a little bit of a reservoir even though it's going to be watered from below. The first time I hydrate I'll probably want to run water through, through it to make sure that the roots get a saturation. Really pushing down to make sure that I, the roots have good contact with the soil. Or this potting mix, I should say, it's not really soil. It's potting medium. It's a messy job. I always do this on cleaning days. I only, only do repotting on cleaning days. So that it's all in one and there's no uh, nothing lost. We're all busy with things going on. Although I'm lucky I have an empty nest. My babies are all grown and gone. Which is beneficial for me. All right, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and I'll be back. All right, I was able to um, get this plant hydrated and I have the reservoir filled with water, which is really nice. It's got the strings hanging down. Everything looks great there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of the, the foliage. This will help the plant um, get used to its new pot because I've just disturbed it. So it's going to be in a little bit of shock. So I'm going to take these bigger leaves off. Anything that looks really rough is going to go. And we're going to give it a chance to become uh, new again. Some of these have uh, brown and browning on it for whatever reason. I'm just going to give it a good prune. People a lot of times are afraid to, to cut their plants back, but it's a good idea to do it once in a while, especially if you have anything that's misshapen, because it's going to make the plant look better right away. But the other thing is that any time a plant, any time a plant is uh, stressed or pruned, it's going to try to put out even more uh, shoots to survive. And this has all kinds of babies underneath. So I'm really interested to see what it's going to look like once uh, these, the new babies start emerging. Watermelon Peperomia, kind of a rescue mission. I've seen so many people have these plants and they look good. And then there's people like me that have these split leaf, leaf issues. So I thought I would take this chance to try to see if I can conquer this problem for me and anybody else that is uh, having that issue. If this video was helpful, give us a thumbs up so YouTube knows to share this content with others. Also consider subscribing and I'll do a follow-up video maybe in four to six weeks and we'll see how it worked. And between the propagation that I have in this little bin and uh, the repot of this. Hopefully she comes back and becomes absolutely gorgeous. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.